visits to your home about shunning. Rakhar Kadash or Rakhar Kadash or Rakhar Kadash is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. Just want to give a quick one on fasting. Um, fasting is good and it's a, it's a good way. Like, you know, you should be sort of uh, exhorted by your peers and people that are in your group to keep... Um, to keep going but fasting is a good cleanse you know in physically it's a really good way of detox detoxing yourself your body um starts to scavenge all your toxins in order to get energy so you'll find that you know it will clear out some crud from your arteries it will um it, you know all, all the oil and lumps of fat and bits of gristle your body will start to cannibalize those things first. So fasting is really good, but on a spiritual level, fasting is really good because it, it, but that faith is evidence of things before not seen. And um, so faith is when you, you, you move away from the carnal and there's no better way. One of the best ways to move away from the carnal is by fasting. Fasting allows you to, um, Fasting allows you to stop thinking about carnal things or forces you to think less about carnal things like food and uh, more about spiritual things. Why the reason why you're doing this, why you're making yourself so uncomfortable. Let's get some scriptures. Therefore also now saith the Lord, turn ye even ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Because the Lord likes a contrite spirit. The Lord likes a spirit that, you know, you can't be all puffed up in yourself if your belly's hungry. It just doesn't run. So, you know, it's a really way, good way of humbling yourself, focusing on the spirit and doing a bit of good stuff for your body at the same time. Um, Matthew 17 and 21. when And that's what we, a lot of the time, you know, if you don't have people around you, you don't know when you might get um, demons jumping on you, you know. So, like, it's a really good way of cleansing yourself um, spiritually as well. It's a spiritual cleanse. Spiritual detox. Um, seventeen twenty one, this kind goeth not out but by prayer by fasting. Um, Matthew nine twenty nine again, he said this kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. So obviously it's good to to pray. Like fasting is just, you know, um, it's not just denying yourself food though. It's sometimes denying yourself all the things that you like. All the things that your your flesh craves, so whether it's entertainment from game and PS3 games, computer games, um, it could be sex, it could be food, anything that you know gives pleasure to the flesh, is a you know if you cut that out, you should really try and cut them all out at the same at the same time you're fasting. You don't have to do like go hardcore. You can do like a a couple of days fast back to back. I do sort of like from the morning until um something like 4 p.m or 5 p.m when the sun goes down just you know when the sun goes down i call it a day break my fast and i eat so it's a really good way of doing that so i just kind of let's see if there's any more scriptures And Cornelius said, Four days ago I was fasting until this hour, and the ninth hour I prayed in my house, and behold, a man stood there before me in bright clothing. Stood before me in bright clothing. Uh, Acts 14, 23, And when they ordained them, the elders in every church, and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord on whom they they believed. So, yeah, that, and, you know, and obviously it building faith and it kind of making you focus more on the spirit is a way of supercharging your prayers, you know. So you chuck out demons, you cleanse your body, you cleanse your spirit, increase your faith and you supercharge your prayers. I think that's all I want to say. Um, Corinthians is just stuck, stuck out at me. Well, um, seven and five. Defraud ye not another, except it be 
with consent for a time that ye may give yourselves to fasting and to prayer, and then come together again, that Satan tempt you not in your incontinency. So I think that's about husbands and wives, right? Yeah, so that's to say that, you know, that and that just um, lines up with what I was saying about sex. You know, fasting isn't just about food. You can fast and, you know, when you're fasted, you shouldn't be just distracting yourself by having lots of sex or by playing computer games. You really need to be there, present, you know, and understanding this battle between the flesh and the spirit. Anyway, with that, I want to say shalom.